This uh, this scene right here when we're going uh, to Doofer Town, it's a good time to illustrate this. Well, actually, I'll save that one for later though, because there's there's a much more pressing criticism that I have in Doofer Town in particular. Oh. And oh boy, strap yourselves in. This is, this is going to be a big one. Like this, this is one. Okay, everything up to this point has been kind of nitpicky, kind of petty. You know, there have been some things like the experience that have been pretty big. This one right here is just sick. <laughs> this is the ultimate in oh. stripping out charm, where the original had so much. I like what's hip happening and trendy. I'm always checking it out. Hey, have you heard of the new potion festivals? That's right, of course you know. I mean, potion festivals are the hottest thing and cool. Potion festivals are the biggest thing happening where you're from too, right? No, they are not, little kid. No, they are not hip and happening. They were never hip and happening. You know, what this kid does is that where in the original, it took two random terms from the game's vocabulary and generated something every playthrough. You got your big service. I got my refreshing dream. In another playthrough, I had nothing living. <laughs> it was funny. It was charming. It was so good. I loved playing the game each and every time. Every time I ever played a Gen 3 game, that was a highlight of my playthrough. Seeing what my trendy saying in Doofer Town was. Yep. It never disappoints. Ever. Never. It's so funny. Even though it's random. It's just, it's so good. I've heard so many funny ones over the years. It's one of those things that everyone who's ever played Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald can connect over. Because you can just, like, everyone's got a funny one that they can tell that you've never heard before, but there being so many combinations. And now, they make it to the default is always potion festivals. Yeah. And to tell them a new trendy saying to replace it, you give them an item and then the second part of it is just uh, something from this word. So, you know what's hip and happen where I'm from? X special attack dexes. <laughs> uh. oh, oh, yeah, I know about those. Yeah, they're the coolest, right? Yeah, I don't know. It's it just... I'm sure there's some funny combination of words that you can make, but it's not the same when you have to do it yourself, and it's not just told to you by the game, and you never know what to expect. I just... I'm not a fan. This is probably one of my least favorite changes in the game. And it's a pretty small thing, all things considered, though. But it just, like, it was such a relatable, connectable thing that everyone who played the original games loved and could talk about. It's just, I think it's really lame. Yeah. That they dumbed it out. And for what? Like, there was vocabularies in black and white, black and white, too. Like, it yep. wasn't like that was a drop feature that hadn't been around for a while. It, like... Maybe they just ran out of time or something? I don't no, know. No, I think they just wanted to keep it more PG because, like, 3DS uh, and all that. It is really good. There but... is a loading screen for me to get this item on this tiny little patch of land. Yep. Again, I get technical limitations. I get it not being... Okay. The thing that I was going to say when we first arrived in Doofer Town, and it's very illustratable right here. This water right here just... Okay. Water in X and Y did not have this problem. Yeah. This game, I'm going to say straight up, I think has bad art direction. Oh, yeah. It's just, the areas are not updated geographically at all from the original. The camera is a bit more zoomed out, so you can see a bit more. Like, your field of view is a little bit greater, I think. Um, there are some areas where the camera moves around a little bit, though. So, yeah, your field of view is greater. But when you're playing around with camera angles, and you have a greater field of view, and you keep everything as it was on the Game Boy Advance, down to how often the textures are repeated... It just looks really sloppy. Yeah. And it just it really just looks bad. Like how often that water touch repeated? Like, okay, I've seen DS games that repeat textures less often than that when showing like a <laughs> wide field of water. Yep. I even like heck, even black and white. Water looks good in that game. Yeah. Like I love you have like the water, the water looks good. You have like wow, water looks so good in this. You have like <laughs> rushing streams where it doesn't repeat textures and you could like see clearly through the mm. bottom. Like the water, like, not just the water, though, but just, like, everything in this game. How often are it beats textures, how blocky everything looks. And then, with everything looking so blocky, you have actually some really good, smooth character models put on top of it. And it just looks really weird. Because, um, X and Y doesn't have the same look to its overworld by any means. There's a few areas that look blocky, but not many. Yeah. Um, but X and Y does not have the same visual style for its areas. But you take character models from X and Y and place them over these backgrounds. It just, it doesn't look as good, I don't think. And 
it is kind of one of those things that I'm not always trying to get caught up in, you know, graphics and them having to like look ultra realistic or anything. And I get that there are, is a such thing as visual styles, but I think this is an example of your visual style just looking really sloppy with just how often textures repeated. When you're inside of a cave and like it zooms in on somebody's face when they're talking, you mm -hmm. know, like, so you like see them from like a first person perspective, which you see this in the demo. That was a thing that you could see before the game was even out. And you see like the walls and ceiling of the cave. Yeah. And it's just all the same texture every couple of inches. It just, it looks <sighs> awful. Okay. And the 3DS is capable of so much more, even in earlier entries in this series. Oh yeah. I gotta say something though. Um, first of all, if you're going to the cave, don't, cause you can't do anything until you beat the gym leader in this. Right. Which stinks, they, but they didn't. They changed it. So yeah, they did. Yeah, you can't they do did. things in any order you wish yep. anymore. You nope. have to do them in a set order. But this is going to be one really fascinating piece of trivia. If you don't know about the map in the corner okay. of that house, and you need to go back there right now because this is going to blow your mind. Okay. Gotcha. This is a really fascination of them including something from a site. A website. Sarabee.net. That is Sarabee's Poke Earth. That is their map. They canonized Sarabee's. It is actually there. If you look at that resource, it is lines that, up with it. Is yes. that a known thing, though? 